What does Newton's second law say? And how can one use Newton's second law to predict the effect of changes in net force and mass upon the acceleration? Well, I'm Mr. H, and I have some answers for you. One of the assertions of Newton's second law is that the acceleration of an object depends upon the net force that it experiences and the mass that it has. In fact, the acceleration is directly proportional to the net force and inversely proportional to the mass. This is often expressed as the equation A equal F net divided by mass. Let's begin with the acceleration net force relationship. The net force, or F net, is the combined effect of all the individual force vectors. The acceleration is directly proportional to the net force. This means that whatever change you make in the net force, the same change is made in the acceleration. If you were to double the F net, you double the acceleration. Triple the net force, you triple the acceleration. And half the net force, you'd half the acceleration. And so forth. Let's try a practice problem. Here's a typical problem. We're given an acceleration of 24 meters per second per second and told that there's a change in the net force value. We have to determine the new acceleration. We'll use this table as an organizer. The strategy involves determining the multiplying or dividing factor required to change the 24 meters per second per second into a new acceleration value. In row number one, the net force is doubled. So the acceleration must change by the same factor. The multiplying factor is 2. The new acceleration is 24 times 2. That's 48 meters per second per second. In row number 2, the net force is tripled. So the acceleration must be tripled. The multiplying factor is 3. The new acceleration is 72 meters per second per second. In rows number 3 and 4, the net force is decreased, so the acceleration is also decreased. We need a dividing factor to make the 24 meters per second per second smaller. In row 3, the net force is halved. That means divided by 2. So the acceleration must be divided by 2. The new acceleration is 24 meters per second per second divided by 2. That's 12 meters per second per second. In row number 4, the F net is quartered, that is, divided by 4. So the new acceleration is 24 meters per second per second divided by 4. That's 6 meters per second per second. Notice in each row of the table, whatever change is made in F net, the same change is made to the acceleration. The acceleration and mass are inversely proportional. That means whatever change is made to m, the inverse or reciprocal change is made to the a value. If the mass is double, the acceleration is halved. If the mass is tripled, the acceleration is one-third the original value. And if the mass is half, the acceleration is double. Let's practice. In these problems, the mass is being changed. We need to find the resulting acceleration. Once more, we need a multiplying or dividing factor. We'll use the table to organize our solutions. In row number one, m is doubled, that is, multiplied by two. Since m is becoming larger, a must become smaller. We need a dividing factor of two. 24 divided by 2 is 12 meters per second per second. In row 3, the m is triple, so we need to make the acceleration smaller by dividing by 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8 meters per second per second. In row number 3, the m is made smaller, so the acceleration must increase. We need a multiplying factor. Since m is one half the size divided by 2, we're going to take 24 and multiply by 2 to get 48 meters per second per second. In row number 3, the m is quartered, that is one fourth the size. We need to take the 24 and multiply by 4 to get 96 meters per second per second. Notice that in each row, whatever change was made to m, the inverse change was made to the acceleration. In situations where both F net and M are changed, you must make two changes to the acceleration. Take your time, get yourself organized, and apply the same principles we've been talking about. In this problem, we have an acceleration of 24 meters per second per second, and two changes are made. The net force is triple, and the mass is double. When F net increases, the acceleration increases. So we need a multiplying factor of 3. And when mass increases, the acceleration decreases. So we need a dividing factor of 2. The new acceleration is 24 times 3 divided by 2. And that's 36 meters per second per second. Mastering a physics concept requires practice, and we have plenty of interactive practice exercises on our website to make sure that you got this. You'll find links to them in the description section of this video. Give one of them a try. Hey, I'm Mr. H, and thanks for watching.